Konnichiwa everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our new series today called Haya. We're getting ready to sing a new song and we're going to pilot our own worship today. I will remind you what pilot means. P, prepared. I, involved. L, loving towards others. O, open toward God. And T, team player. So you guys have 15 seconds to get ready to pilot your own worship. Ready, set, go.
that was close. That was so close. But I think I made it to the Matsuri, and this will be the perfect hideout from those martial law officers that I've been trying to escape. Jeez, they're getting harder and harder to outrun, you know? But they have to understand, I have been running these streets and ruling these streets for years. I know these alleys and shortcuts like the back of my hand. The officers will never be able to catch up with me, especially now that I've got this thing from them. I'm gonna be able to keep up with exactly where they're at at all times now that I have one of their walkies. <sighs> but hey, you guys must be visitors in, in for the Matsuri. The, you know, these Japanese festivals, they bring tons of tourists. So uh, since I know so much, let me, let me show you around. You know, I bet you would really like to see some sumo wrestlers, wouldn't you? Well, I saw that they're getting ready to go live just right over here. So why don't you come check them out with me? Wasn't that great? Oh, I know I would not want to be involved in a sumo sandwich, that's for sure. But you know what? I think I finally outran those cops. I don't think they're ever going to find me amongst all these people in this festival. But can you do me a favor? If, if you happen to see any of those martial law officers, can you keep a lookout and let me know? Uh, because, you know, I can't get caught. But there are definitely some advantages of hiding amongst this festival. One of the major ones, I can use these carts that are abandoned to help sell some of the stuff I've found today. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab this cart right here and use this and I'm gonna, people won't know what to do whenever Chop comes on the scene because I can sell like nobody's business, you know? And I found some awesome things. I found some cherry blossom seeds. People love to get some cherry blossom seeds and, and I got, for those young ones, I got some Pokemon cards with some great characters that I'm gonna be able to get top dollar for. And then for the lovely people that love to have something to wear, I've got this lovely thing. And you know, I think I think I might just wear it for a little bit to help with help with my disguise a little bit, to blend in, you know, just to be on the safe side. Disguise is key when you're trying to hide, right? So, and I now this is weird. I don't remember picking this up, but huh, I, oh no. Oh no, 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 guys. There's some, there's some chatter happening. Just, just hang on a second. Suspect spotted? Oh guys, how, how is that possible? I, I'm blending in. There's tons of people here. They, they can't have found, oh, uh, who am I kidding? This disguise isn't helping. I still look the same. Oh. Suspect. Oh. Okay. I think they're going down a different street. I think I think I got out of it, but just to be on the safe side, I, I think I need to work a little bit more on blending in.
I got an idea. I've got a way that I think we can hide and blend in a little bit better. I've got this. I'm going to become a sushi chef. That's very common in Japan, right? Sushi chef. And so, okay, let's put this on. But i got to make up some sushi really quick. So, uh, um, Sergeant Major Melanie, can you come help me? I've got, I've got some rice and some fish in here. And I got some fruit roll-ups. So let's take what we got. And we only got like 30 seconds. I, I, I'm hiding from these cops. We've got to get this going. So we're going to find some fish. Oh, I found some fish. All right. And I'm just going to just going to roll up. Roll them up like this. Just a little bit. And look. Ha. Huh, sushi. All right, so you do that roll. I'll do this roll. If a little bit of rice makes it in there, that's okay, because, you know, sushi has rice. All right. All right. Whew. Second roll. All right. So, uh, let's see here. Whew. And, all right, so you keep making rolls. Oh, some cops coming. Sushi, get your sushi. Sushi here, get your sushi, fresh made sushi. Sushi. Whew. I think, I think we did it. I am now a sushi stand. You keep making some more sushi. Uh, we're gonna keep making some sushi to blend in a little bit better, but I think, I think this is working. Woo. Well, I think that worked. I think we fooled them with that disguise. But what were we doing before that? Oh, that's right. That strange scroll. That was in my cart. It's got my initials on it. How would someone know my initials? Well, let me see what it has to say. To Chop Morimoto, that's me. You've been identified as a potential recruit for the Shinobi Order, the most elite secret ninja agency in all of Japan. Accepting this invitation will be life-altering as you must change your old habits and replace them with new ones. While it will require much discipline, your reward will be great. Should you choose to accept, please present yourself at the dojo, located in the basement of the Hibachi House on 6th Street. Simply show this scroll to the guard. Is this real? Or is this like a trap set up by those cops? A secret ninja society located in the basement of a hibachi restaurant? I, <sighs> me, an actual ninja? I mean, come on, this can't, this can't be real. Come on, I, I mean, why would they want me as a ninja? Ninjas are known for their integrity, and, and that is not me. I lie, I cheat, I steal every day just to survive. I have to. So me, a ninja? Really? But how would, how did it? I don't know, guys. This just seems really odd. Well, I could stay here and sell my cherry blossoms and Pokemon cards, or, or I could go see what this is all about. I mean, really, what do I have to lose? I think I'm going to go to the dojo. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to become a ninja. Konnichiwa. I am Sensei, and welcome to the dojo. Becoming a ninja warrior is not an easy road, but with God's help, we are all up for the challenge. 
The most important part of this process is taking off the old and putting on the new. The old I am speaking of is not taking off your old stinky socks. I mean taking off your old ways of life, like lying, cheating, or saying bad things. When we take off these old habits, we can put on the new ones, like telling the truth, being honest, and saying kind words. Learning this valuable lesson will help you one day become a true ninja warrior. In Acts, a very wise man named Peter taught others the importance of taking off the old and putting on the new. There was a large crowd gathered for a festival where the people that followed Jesus got together to celebrate all the things he had done for them. There were people from different countries and they spoke different languages. Jesus' apostles were there too. And as the crowd gathered, something crazy happened. Even though the Jewish people were visiting from other countries and spoke many languages, they understood exactly what the apostles were saying. The people felt really confused. They wanted to know what was happening and what this meant. Some in the crowd even started making fun of the apostles. One of the apostles, Peter, explained to the crowd that this was exactly what the prophets said would happen. Jesus came and took the punishment for our sins by dying on the cross. Then, three days later, he came back to life. By following Jesus, their hearts and lives could be changed. Everything started to make sense now. They felt sorry for what they had said and asked Peter what they should do. Peter told them to change their hearts and lives and be baptized in the name of Jesus. He explained that God would forgive them of their sins and send them the gift of the Holy Spirit. Those who accepted what Peter said started following Jesus and were baptized that day. Just like Peter taught the crowd to take off their old habits of not following Jesus and put on the new good habit of following Jesus, you can learn this truth too. Take off the old and put on the new. That is the way to become a true ninja warrior. Okay, okay, I cannot believe that I just meant an actual sensei. And a, a sensei that believes that I could be a ninja warrior. I mean, no one has ever believed in me like that. <laughs> so, supposedly to do this, I have to take off my bad habits and put on some new habits. Um, I don't really get that, but hey, you know, I guess I'm up for a challenge. So the first thing they told me to do is, is I need to read this book, uh, the Bushida Handbook. Um, it's got all of the code of conduct of, for, for ninja warriors and all for the shinobi um, and for that order. And, and I don't know, that there's a lot of stuff in this book and, and it's supposed to help me recognize the, the habits that I need to get rid of. But, but really, some of my habits can really come in handy with, with Ninja Warrior, right? You know, when you're fighting off the bad guys, cheating and stealing and lying might, might come in handy, I would think. But this, this is the one that I can really get into. This is my Ninja Calm. This is where I have be able to communicate with all of the ninjas in the shinobi order and 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 i have to actually have a passcode to get into it because it's like confidential information and so you know the sensei said that for my first for first year recruits we get assigned two um like counselors and and so i get um master nun and master chuck <laughs> they're gonna be mentoring me and so now that i'm back here at, at the Natsuri, I, I guess I should check in with them. So, so let me let me put my code in here, my top secret code, because <laughs> I'm gonna be a ninja. <laughs> so let's do that, and uh, let me check in with Master Nun and Master Chuck. Hi there, everybody. I'm Nun, and welcome to the dojo. And I'm Chuck, and we are your mentors. Chuck, what are you doing? Just practicing my master moves. I call this one the Flamingo. What's up with you? Hmm, just watching the master at work. That 
that geese looking a little small for you, don't you think? <laughs> it's my good luck charm. You know how everyone has like lucky socks or lucky underwear? Well, I want plenty of medals wearing this bad boy. So how's that working for you? Uh, great. It ripped, didn't it? Uh, yep. Hope you're wearing your lucky underwear now. Uh, uh, ha, ha, ha. You know, Chuck, it's easy to hold on to the old things, thinking that it's best or even because it's easy. Maybe you should go and put on a gi that actually fits you. Think about the wingspan your flamingo would have. I think you're right. I'll be right back. You know, this doesn't only apply to your uniform. We need to take off old things like bad habits, like lying, being selfish, or saying bad words. Then we can replace them by putting on new ones that God wants us to have, like telling the truth and loving others. Okay, the master is back. Thanks, nun. Taking off that old gear and putting this new one on was definitely the way to go. You're the best. No problem, Chuck. Let's get back to training. The flamingo waits for no one. Ah, yes, my signature move. There's a little something like this. Wow, Master Nun and Master Chuck really do know what they're talking about. I was feeling kind of confident before, but now I'm really not so sure about all of this. I don't know if I can do it. You know, when the sensei shared from God's word earlier, he said about how Peter challenged the people to change their hearts and change their lives as they follow Jesus. Because the people were evil and they were doing some wrong things. And, but with Jesus, they're able to, to change and be made new. You know, now that I think about it, I bet that's exactly what the sensei was talking about when he encouraged me to read this Bushido, uh, to, to learn the code. See, he said that, that this would help me see the, the bad habits that I have and, and help me replace them with good habits. I don't even know if that's possible for me, though. But I guess I should give it a try. Start reading this thing. Well, I better get going because I think it's going to be a long night of reading. Can you guys believe Trump went from stealing stuff off the street to meeting a sensei and being recruited as a ninja? I'm glad she's trying to get rid of our old ways and trying on new ones. And that's exactly what we need to know. Let's all say that in our best ninja voices. Take off the old, put on the new. Take off the old, put on the new. Great job. In today's Bible story, did Peter want people to keep doing wrong or to change? That's right. We all do wrong things. But because Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment for all those wrong things, we can change and, and make new just like Jesus did when he came back to life. That's what the song, new song is all about. Let's get ready to sing it.
Awesome singing, everyone. I love hanging out with you all today and seeing that because of Jesus, we can change and be made new. That means we can take off the old and put on the new. This is going to be an awesome series. We're learning to be like ninjas, to take off the old bad habits and putting on new good habits that will help us be like God. That's exactly what we need to know. So again, let's repeat this after me. Take off the old, put on the new. Okay, so this was this God named Peter. He was friends with Jesus. And he wrote some stuff in the Bible to help us know exactly how to take off the bad and put on the good. So let's see if we can figure out what Paul said. Here's this method for you guys to do with your family if you would like. So please go ahead and do it if you want and send us pictures. But we're going to take a look at what really happened. So. There was this large crowd that gathered at the Pentecost. This was a huge festival where the people that followed Jesus got together to celebrate all the things he had done for them. There were people from different countries and they spoke different languages. Jesus' apostles, including Paul, were there too. As the crowd gathered, something crazy happened. Even though the Jewish people were visiting from other places, and spoke many languages. They exactly understood what the apostles were saying. They felt really confused. They wanted to know what was happening and what this meant. Some in the crowd even started making fun of the apostles. Peter explained to the crowd that this was exactly what the prophets or messengers from God who lived long ago said would happen. Jesus came and took the punishment for our sins by dying on the cross. Then three days later, he came back to life. By following Jesus, their hearts and lives changed. Everything started to make sense now. They felt sorry for what they had said and done. So they asked Peter what they should do. Peter told them to change their hearts and lives and be baptized in the name of Jesus. He explained that God would forgive them of their sins and send them a gift of the Holy Spirit to help them change. Those who accepted what Peter said began following Jesus and baptized that day. Okay, so now what's for you? Question one, why, the, why were the people so confused about the Pentecost? because the apostles were speaking in different languages. Question number two, what did Peter tell the people to do? To change their hearts and minds. He explained that their hearts and minds could be completely changed by following Jesus. If we follow Jesus, he can change our hearts and minds also. When our hearts are changed, what, what else changes? What about our habits or things we do? As we follow Jesus, we can take off the old, put on the new, and that will please God. Throughout this series, we're going to memorize a verse from the Bible that reminds us how to take off the old and put on the new. If you can say this verse at the end of the series, you will win a prize. Repeat after me. You must be made new, and your hearts are in your thinking. Be that new person who was made to be like God. truly good and pleasing to him. Ephesians 4, 
23 and 24. Becoming a ninja warrior is not an easy road, but with God's help, we are all up for the challenge. Hope you all had fun today. Hope to see you again and join us for our next episode of Haya. Well, we're going to close today and pray. <sighs> Jesus, thank you for loving us and taking the punishment for all of the bad things we do and by dying on the cross. Thank you for changing us when we follow you. Help us to take off the bad habits and put on good habits so we can follow you. We love you. Amen. Okay, see you next week. Have a good week. Bye.